All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. Now today's video is not gonna be an install video. As you can see from the uh, title of the video, I'm just gonna go over uh, what the future plans are gonna be for uh, the Type R. And uh, if you stay to the end, we will be, or not we, but I will be announcing the uh, Super Performance giveaway winner. So if you if you do win, uh, I mean, be sure to shoot me a DM and then I'll get you in contact with Super Performance and we'll get your goodies sent out to you. Okay, so um, I know a lot of you all are here for the channel because of the Honda, the SI, the Type R, and all that stuff. But I also have a truck that I'm also building, and it's a learning progress as I'm going. I had um, a shipment of truck parts just got delivered this week, and then uh, that'll be it's like the second to last thing that I'm gonna do with the truck, and then uh, we'll be we'll be good to go from there. And then it'll be strictly a little bit of the ambulance build, and we'll do some uh, obviously do some Type R stuff. So, uh, with all that being said, I do want to uh, thank you all for being uh, a subscriber and um, liking my videos, watching my videos, shopping through my Amazon store, stuff like that. I really do appreciate that. Uh, my goal this year was to hit 20,000 on YouTube. I don't think we're going to make it, but hey, that's, that's not going to make me stop doing what I'm doing. I do this stuff because I, I thoroughly do enjoy my making videos for you guys and good content. Alright, so with that being said, you know, I bought this car a couple months ago. We just hit over 2,000 miles. I, I'm really not driving this this car as much as I should, although it is a blast to drive. I absolutely love driving this car. So uh, the, the plans for this car are going to be, A, uh, I would love to get, get this car on a track day after we get past uh, this virus and stuff. I don't, I don't know how they're doing that. I would love to track this car uh, with just, you know, my you know stock suspension stock tires and all i have is just the intake i think that would be cool to compare between that and then full bolt-ons so with that being said we are going to be going full bolt-ons in the future we are going to be doing the prl um intercooler and all the piping uh, we're going to do their front pipe down pipe combo and we're going to do their inlet tube and then uh, of course we will we'll get a tune uh from who i'm not sure yet uh, there's obviously there's there's a lot of different options out there uh, for our tuner when it comes to the uh, Type R, just just like there is for the uh, SI. You know, the SI was tuned by uh, D-Rob, Innovative Motor Works, uh, solid tune. And I've, I've talked to the uh, the now owner of the SI, and the car's still running good. He still loves it, so that, that's good. And um, I've, had, I've had the opportunity to talk to a couple different people who own Type R's, and tuning wise I've got I think I've got a pretty good uh, idea of who I'm going to go with tuning wise and number wise you know it's pretty hard to hit that 400 horsepower mark uh, with with this motor and not have you know the upgraded Honda fuel pump and E85 I think those numbers are achievable but I don't have E85 readily available here so that's a uh, that's a downside so I'm thinking maybe uh, 370 375 ish that's just a that's just a guess i i don't exactly know how much we'll actually be able to pump out of this this car um and you know i've i've seen some some owners they don't like the 2020 uh style steering wheel i absolutely love it uh just get you some sonax cleaner and clean it just like you would clean the seats it's for you know alcantara suede material so that that'll definitely take care of that problem and then uh, eventually, after we go full bolt-ons, that's the next thing. I want to knock out all the performance stuff out of the way. And then I do want to go to um, coilovers or springs. I do want to. I do want to lower this car, and then obviously get, ditch the 20s, and then the small band tires that are on here, and uh, put 18s on there. Now I don't know what 18s I want to get. There's so many different combos and possibilities on 18s what I should get so comment down below if you if you have any ideas on what uh, what 18s I should get and then what tire should I put on top of those 18s there's there's a lot of uh, good content on the uh, Facebook group for the type R owners on different setups that they're running uh, as far as when it comes to um, wheels and tires setup so if we'll go full bolt-ons get that done knocked out of the way I'd like to get on a dyno and get some true numbers um, you know lower in springs maybe an inch all the way around depending i haven't done much research and then wheels and tires and then obviously i do want to get this uh the car on the track i do want to i want to see what this car's full potential is because it is just it's nothing nothing shy of uh, amazing like i said this car is super fun to drive the seats are amazing they're super comfortable um 
And then, yeah, like I said, in the, the previous video, obviously I put on the Sumo Performance mirrors and then I did the turn signals uh, inside the mirror also. The, the switchback, or excuse me, the se uh, sequential turn signal that it has is uh, it's amazing. And then the anti-glare, obviously you guys can't see, but having the anti-glare mirrors paired with the Sumo Performance mirrors and then I have the LED turn signal inside there, I just think it looks... Yeah, I think it looks amazing. And whoever wins, I, th I think you're going to like it too. And then also... Comment down below what other type of content would you like to see, uh, you know, for the channel, for the Type R, with the truck. Like I said, me and Samuel are still going to be working on the ambulance build. It's just a slow process. We're in the process of getting a, uh, we're looking for a cab for it. Um, he's going to be doing some performance stuff to it. So you have to stay tuned and uh, make sure you follow that because that's going to be a very exciting build. We're going to turn that that ambulance, well, that once was an ambulance, into a, um, it's like a camper. And then he's, he's going to travel, him and his wife are going to travel and uh you know take it across the uh, united states and camp in it and i think it's going to be super awesome and i i've got a feeling <laughs> once it's all said and done and we get done uh building that ambulance uh i'm probably going to have one in uh in my near in my near future so that is going to be a very fun and exciting build and i, I hope um everybody has a great thanksgiving uh stay safe out there you know the virus is still happening and it just, it's not going to just go away we're still waiting on a vaccine and stuff so i know this is kind of uh, me a rambling video but I, I get lots and lots of messages on um the type r like hey where's the type r content where's the type r content i'm sadly mistaken if you came here only for type r content you know i have more than one vehicle so not every single video is going to be a video about the type r and like i said i just hit 2,000 miles a little over 2,000 miles on the type r so i got to figure out you know the owner's manual and all the dealerships say to change the oil at when they're when the maintenance reminder comes on but i've had a lot of people go ahead and flush it even at like a thousand or two thousand miles they'll flush the oil out and then they'll flush the transmission fluid out so i don't really know what i'm going to do i think i may just hold off until the to the maintenance reminder comes on you know i don't i don't drive this car beat on it um like it is yet you know I, yeah i'll take it to a red line every now and again but i don't not every drive coming out the gate is just you know pedal to the metal pedal to the metal all the way to the floor so i do need to uh yeah i think i'm just gonna wait to the uh remain to the maintenance reminder comes on so like i said please uh comment down below on some uh, ideas on what you guys would like to see as far as the channel like i said my goal for this year was to get 20,000 subscribers it didn't happen but hey i am i'm a-okay with that that's all right i'm gonna keep grinding um, like I said in the future, I do want to have some merch come out um, Do want to do some some vinyl work some decals just a way for you guys to give back and to show love and appreciation to the channel Because I, I get messages all the time thanking me for like hey, thanks for that install video Thank you for this. Thank you for that and then I, I do answer as many DMS as I possibly can There's there's just a bunch that happen in there and some questions, you know, they're answered in the videos that I've I've already, you know published for that but anyways, like I said, I hope each and every single one of you have a great Thanksgiving and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And then right after this clip, we are going to announce the winner. Uh, congrats to uh, all who entered. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can do some more giveaways here in the future. If you're stopping into the channel for the first time, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on all your post notifications. YouTube is telling me uh, not all my subscribers are having their their push notifications turned on so make sure you turn on your push notifications and uh make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up and uh good luck to uh whoever wins the uh super performance mirrors they are truly awesome let's hear that little intake real quick i love it peace